What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. Mike the Investor. Hope you are having a great day. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like dividend stocks, stock news, and financial freedom. On the week, my Robinhood portfolio is down 1.9%, which is $59.56. So August 1st, as you know, is when the Feds had implemented their Fed rate interest rate cut. Uh, it dropped down 25 basis points. So the stock market has been going crazy the last two days going into the weekend. This is the first time that my portfolio has seen this big of a hit. Um, I'm not panicking or anything like that, but I am like, okay, I'm starting to see a little bit more volatility. And the reason why I say I'm not panicking because I understand that everything can't be green every single day, every single week, you know, every month. It's good to see that definitely to keep seeing that grow from your portfolio, but you have to see some sort of a correction so those companies can't continue to keep growing. I had a comment down in the comments section here from uh, James. Go ahead and check out his channel. He is is a uh, up and coming investor like me as well. He has a very nice channel, uh, some very good info out there, but he had mentioned he wanted to see how other uh, portfolios was doing uh, based off of the Fed rate cut. So I thought I would go ahead and share how my portfolio was doing. On the day of Friday, I was down almost half a percent, 0.41%. And after hours, I were covered a little bit, $1.75. On the week, as I was showing a little bit earlier, I was down 1.9%. On the month, I am down almost about 1% now, which is $30.57. And on the three month mark, I am still up 1.40%, which is nice to have that capital gain. So when things like this happens, you have kind of a cushion to lose some profit. Or even if you buy in kind of high, try to average cost down on that stock. That way you can keep your profit growing. And then on the year, I am up 1.66%, which is $50.17. So I'm not panicking but it is uh, kind of nice in a way. You may think I'm crazy, but it is kind of nice to kind of see some volatility and really to see how your stocks are going to perform. And I'm just going to do a scroll through of my portfolio. I'm not going to go into my stocks to really show what is going on with each stock because that would take a lot more time uh, for the sake of this video. I just want to kind of show you how my stocks are doing. But one stock that I am taking the biggest hit on will be the company PFE Pfizer. I am down $19.7. 17 cents, which is 7.75%. And they just did the merger with the new company. So that has taken them a little bit of a hit. And I might do a deeper analysis later on Pfizer. Uh, I do have some research that I've already done on the company just because I hold the stock. But if you're curious on me doing a deeper analysis on Pfizer, let me know down in the comment section if you're curious. And I would definitely upload that video for you all. But now, since we kind of know why the portfolio is taking a hit or why why the stock market in general is taking a hit a little bit of the stocks. We're going to go ahead and jump over to Seeking Alpha, which is one of my favorite research sites that I go to. So if you go to Google or just go to your URL, you would type in SeekingAlpha.com. And then in the search bar, I already kind of have it laid out here, though. You can just type in Fed Rate Cut. And I'm just going to briefly go over two key points of two articles that came out today on Sunday. And the first one we're going to look at is the Fed Rate Cut shows the Fed is either clueless or lying or both and that came out sunday august 4th so we go over to that and there's a key point i want to go over real quick breaking down on what's to come per se in the future if you haven't uh, done research or maybe you haven't got over to this part of the research because this channel is not just for me to show capital gains or losses or things like that this channel is for all of us to grow as investors to also share our ideas to also keep each other aware of what's going on if you're an investor in the stock market I just wanted this channel to be open for everyone, you know, share your ideas, tips, or maybe recommendations down in the comment section, because this is a growing process for not only me, but for maybe a lot of other viewers as well. As it says, keeping interest rates low as debt rises. Another issue that must be mentioned is the importance of keeping interest rates low in an environment of runway government spending. As the national debt continues to rise above $22 trillion and as the annual deficit in the period of expansion, mind you, 
inches back toward 1 trillion per year. It becomes ever more important to keep debt service low by pushing down interest rates, which makes sense. As debit payments rise toward half a trillion dollars per year in the coming years, interest rates must now be kept low The federal programs will face real cuts in order to make payments on the debt. And that is one reason why we're seeing the small interest rate cut now. As we continue, that means cuts to things like the Pentagon and Social Security, those cuts will be politically unpopular. Policymakers will need the Fed to keep debt payments down by manufacturing demand for government debt. So this is very crucial information. And also on both of these articles, I will leave the link down in the description if you want a quick reference to these articles to do a little bit more of your own research because it would take a lot of time to go through all of these articles. But I just wanted to point out a couple key points that I thought was very important. And as we look at the other article, this will really explain why Thursday and Friday after the rate cut went into effect, a lot of the stocks maybe took some form of a hit. And it says, quote, the market breakout was straining the deviation from the long-term moving average that continues to be the case this week. Our conviction of a short-term correction to rebalance portfolios, it continues to be high. We believe that correction will occur over the next two months to reverse the rather extreme overbought condition currently. Now, hear this out. A three to five percent correction in August or September is likely. And we don't know what's going to happen in the stock market, but we have seen the effect a little bit since the Fed rate cut has went into effect in just two days. So I think they're on to something here. Three to five percent correction in the next upcoming month. If you have some money maybe put aside, this would be the time to hold that money a little bit longer. And then when you see some of your blue chip stocks or some stocks you have on your watch list, this would be the time to go ahead and buy into them to get a better buy-in point. Now, I want to read a little bit more, and it says, as noted in the main body of this week, missive, a less than anticipated rate cut and outlook by the Fed trip of participants. Then Trump deciding to add additional tariffs on China in order to force the Fed to cut rates royal stocks even more. So you can see the trickle effect is happening. It goes on to say, stop sold off for the entirety of last week. So expect a rally early next week to sell into take some actions if you have not already as the next two months could be bumped the correction is likely not complete yet so this is very crucial information here i thought it was important for me to give this out and if this gave you any form of value hit that like button for me that way i know to continue to keep uploading content like this because i want to give as much value as possible every single video that i put out but hey, this is Mike the Investor. Good luck in the stock market. Also, good luck with everything else. Remember to always stay inspired, stay motivated, invest in yourself, whatever you're doing. And if you are thinking about still investing in the stock market, there are some links down in the description. I have the Robinhood link where you will get a free stock. And I also have the Stash app link where you will get a free $5 that I have for you that you can start investing with me. So continue being awesome. And I will see you guys back next time.